All right, our second last finalist of the day. Please welcome Chain GPT. Hey, thanks for having me to introduce Chain GPT, which provides cryptographic truth to all of the AI bots that are taking over the world. I'm a little bit guilty. I'm actually a roboticist by day. I am not a Web3 developer at all, and I am very much a roboticist technologist for good. So I, my day job is a skin printing robot um, for burns patients and educational technologies. <laughs> and I wanted to, to bring this vibe to the hackathon. Um, and when I saw that actually you can build non-Web3 technology and use crypto to secure them, it blew my mind. So I was reading through the sponsors. Cartesi allows someone has already deployed distributed OpenCV, which is an open source computer vision library that's very common in my work. Um, and now it's distributed. So I saw that, my mind was blown, and I was like, I want to get involved in this. I, when I thought of ChainGVT, mostly it took my interest because it's like, could that be possible? Everyone that I spoke to, they're like, but could you just deploy like a chat AI to um, the blockchain? Well, Cartesi rollups make it possible that you can have this cryptographic trust in AI systems that comes in two forms. Um, so I've deployed uh, alpaca.cpp, which is a C++ library um, that uses Stanford AI's alpaca model, not full chat GPT, uh, but you can verify that the correct model has been used, the expected model, and also the output of these agents. So where this is useful, in, it's in all sorts of fields, right? It's taken over <laughs> everything. But here are some examples in, in business. Um, the, if, you have a, if you're running a business where you're selling a product, people get clever with these chat agents that they can make them eventually like trick them into giving you something for free. And so later on, as a business owner, it's your responsibility. Um, these are chain GPT will keep business owners accountable for like, hey, actually the AI agent said that I could have a refund for this. So bringing that um, verification. But then also in like insurance regulated industries for auditing of actually what uh, these machine learning models are outputting. Um, are they biased? They can be audited and also um, you can use that to introspect as a business owner yourself. And then in education, uh, you know, we're putting kids in front of these things to learn, but it relies entirely on what model they're interacting with. And so I think this is going to be coming up more and more in the future of education, but uh, something like ChainGPT will allow school administrators to say, like, no, I assure you that it's using this model. I know because if not, um, Chain GPT running on the Cartesi machine will actually uh, flag that there's been some um, tampering. So if you're any of those people, then that's good to know, but can it work? So here's a demo. Um, this, is, this is a, so I have a local, well, well, <laughs> I have a local blockchain here um, that is running the Cartesi roll-up framework. And on that, I'm going to deploy my chain GPT implementation, which is a port of Alpaca C++ to, um, to run in a particular container. It eventually needs to be compatible with the RISC-V architecture to be deployed to the chain. It's um, a work in progress, and like I'm excited to see it get there. But for now, this is a local demo. So I'm going to interact with this. Um, as if I'm a student, I want to know, uh, tell me about the first person who walked on the moon. This is going to get received then um, by the demo. It's now running, like, at the moment, it's going to be, at the moment it's running in a Docker machine on my computer, but deploy this to the chain, have multiple validators. You'll know whenever there's a discrepancy from them, but also you know because they're putting the state of their actual virtual machine, snapshots are being taken, and they're stored on chain. So whenever we need to go back and see if anything's um, gone awry, then that information is all stored in the blockchain. Like it's, uh, I had no idea that these sorts of things exist. I interact with this just like with CMake and C++ regular tools that I'm used to and I just kind of get crypto for free. Um, so this is going to, here we go, it's thinking out there. Okay, so it's sent that response, 
And then as a client, I'll be able to receive the response from the, um, from the chain in general that yes, uh, this is the answer to that question according to chain GBT. So, thank you, thank you. Um, it's an input, like I'm drawn to this because of the potential for us to like, okay, everyone's terrified about these AI machines at the moment, um, so we can capitalize on that hype for the, the good of like pub publicizing crypto products like this, but also we can, you know, be the savior for people's fears of like, I know you're concerned, but the, the educational system, for example, it's not just going to be left to run loose. So we have OpenCV, distributed OpenSea on Cartesi. And now I am happy to say that uh, you can get full cryptographic safety from ChainGPT, also through the Cartesi operating system. Thanks.